Welcome to another GSC DigiNet Update. I'm your host, Jim Cavell, Broadcasting Director here at the beautiful Gulf South Conference headquarters in Birmingham, Alabama. We have plenty to talk about on this edition, so let's get right to it first with GSC Gridiron action. The last three weekends, we've talked about domination for the Gulf South Conference, undefeated in three weeks in a row. And of course, this past weekend, the Gulf South Conference had some more tests against former Arkansas members of the Gulf South Conference. So let's check out all that happened this past weekend on the GSC Gridiron. The Gulf South Conference recorded three more NCAA Division II football victories this past Saturday, upping its D2 win-loss record to 20-3. The league and the newly formed Great American Conference faced off for the second straight week, and the GSC swept five matchups last week, where this week they escaped Saturday's action with three wins, but its two Peach State members suffered setbacks. North Alabama, now 5-0, exited Saturday as the conference's only undefeated team, and the Lions enter this week as the nation's new number one ranked squad. That's right, UNA rallied from an early 14-0 deficit to outgun Southern Arkansas on the road 42-14 via 35 second half points. UNA became the GSE's 10th AFCA national number one team and the league's first number one since the Lions topped the poll for three weeks in 2009. UNA returns to the natural state this Saturday taking on Arkansas Tech. Number three nationally ranked Delta State, 5-1, stayed perfect in Division II action, returning home for the first time in four games and disposing of number 25 nationally ranked Washita Baptist, 45-14. The statesman trailed by four points early in the second quarter before firing off 35 unanswered points as they'll restart the season in this week's GSC TV Live Game of the Week as they will take on Arkansas Monticello Thursday evening. West Alabama posted its fourth consecutive triumph, moving to 4-1 for the first time since 1991 by earning a 31-17 home victory over Harding. The Tigers' offense led the way, rolling up 280 yards, rushing versus the top-ranked defense in Division II as UWA now hosts homecoming on Saturday as Southern Arkansas journeys to Livingston. Number 13, Valdosta State, now 4-1, suffered its first loss of the season in surprising fashion falling at Arkansas Monticello 23-9. The Blazers outgained UAM on offense 347 to 333 yards, but they could not overcome four turnovers and 177 yards of penalties as UAM outscored the visitors in the fourth quarter 20-3. VSU seeks to get back on the winning track when it returns to Arkansas to battle Washita Baptist this weekend. And West Georgia, now 2-2, two two, found itself on the wrong end of an offensive shootout as Henderson State put a damper on their homecoming 50 to 30. Both teams hit for their highest respective outputs of the season on offense. UWG could not recover from HSU's 19 unanswered points in the third quarter, and the Wolves will now travel to Harding on Saturday to get back on track. So a decent week for the Gulf South Conference in football and men's and women's soccer, things are moving forward into conference play now as the men get ready for their first matchups and the women have already gotten underway in conference play. The Christian Brothers still leads the way with wins at 7-3 overall as West Florida is just behind them with five wins and Alabama Huntsville also with five wins. Conference play will get underway here in October and should really clear the picture on which four teams will make it to the postseason tournament in Pensacola, Florida. In women's soccer standing, still the surprise from the first year program down in Valdosta, Georgia. 3-1 now in conference play is Valdosta State, 7-3 overall. West Florida undefeated at 3-0 and 5-2-2 overall. North Alabama with their third straight solid season as they're off to a great start at 2-0 in conference play and 8-2 overall. And we will see which teams will go to the GSC Women's Soccer Championship also in Pensacola, Florida coming up later this fall. Melissa Walter and the University of West Florida Lady Argonaut Volleyball Program has really had an unorthodox way of starting their season. Instead of easy matchups to get ready, they like to go with hard matchups. That's right, Walter schedules some of the toughest teams in all of Division II to get her team ready for conference play, and that's why they had a tough three and seven start. Since then though, they're one of the hottest teams in the country. 5-0 in the Gulf South Conference and leading the way with a seven-game winning streak. Let's check out all going on right now in GSC Ladies Volleyball. Where North Alabama and West Alabama are both in second place respectively at 4-1, both with 13 wins overall. And Christian Brothers is in fourth place at 3-2. The rest of the squad's trying to get into the contention that they need to. The 
the Gulf South Conference Women's Volleyball Championships coming up later this fall. Great stuff from all the teams in the Gulf South Conference, of course, leading up to championship play next month as we get closer to the GSC Men's and Women's Soccer Championships and Volleyball Championships, and of course, the GSC Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships, people. That's right, right across the street from our headquarters here in Birmingham, really actually in Hoover, Alabama, at the Spain Park Cross Country Complex. They'll be taking place later this month. Going to be a very fun weekend, and we'll be covering it all on GSC DigiNet. So whether you watch GSC DigiNet on Facebook or YouTube or maybe through Twitter, leave us a comment. Let us know what you're thinking so we can respond and give you all the news and notes you need to know about the Gulf South Conference. And also, check out our upcoming editions on our website at gscsports.org. In the meantime, I'm Jim Cavall, and this has been another edition of GSC DigiNet.